So this one has really caught my eye. I love, I'm a Typhoon Eurofighter yeah. guy. I, I remember growing up through the early 90s and I was in the cadets and the Eurofighter was just coming into service. This was going through its trials. Um, so this is the, I believe, the, the first ever or one of the first prototypes yeah. for the Eurofighter. Not quite, not quite a Typhoon, EAP. It's basically a proof of concept yep. aircraft. It's, it's the right shape. Yeah. Um, does it work? Does it work as that shape? Um, and I think the answer was yes. Yes. So it developed into a very, very successful product. So I guess this has got like basic avionics in. It's not going to be the same as what the Typhoon is now. Be far, well, I guess oh, it's be, miles, of, yeah, miles apart from that. Very different from, yeah. from like a Tranche yeah. 4 yeah. Uh, yeah. in terms of avionics. Yeah. Um, the carriage is different as well. Oh, is it? That's bespoke. So what? this is a bespoke undercarriage? Wow. We know because we want to get some replacement bits. So when did this fly then? Was this... Um, uh, 86 was its first Oh, flight. wow. So yeah. it was a long time ago. 86 to 91. I've been flying the, the Typhoon in the simulator. Mm. And uh, it's such a capable aircraft. And like, it moves like nothing, nothing else. Like you can think of like the, early, like the Tomcats, the Tornadoes, the... F-15s, F-16, this just outmaneuvers on it, so it's, yeah. it's amazing. What, uh, what simulator was that on? Uh, that was a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, okay. Um, I've, been, I, I used, I've just got into DCS. Yeah. Uh, so I've been doing, but this day I haven't got this in DCS, but I've been doing DCS and uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So guys, is there anything you want to see me get in here? Let us know, put it in the comments down below. What is your favorite aircraft? What would you like to see in? What cockpit would you like to get in? Guys, put it down below in the comments. Anyway, back on with the video. Britain's EAP demonstrated many of the same excellent characteristics, but because it is strictly a technology demonstrator, the aircraft weighs considerably more than an actual production aircraft in this category would weigh. In addition, it is powered by two 16,000-pound thrust Rolls-Royce RB199 engines of the type currently in production for the European Tornado fighter. An eventual fighter derivative of the EAP would be powered by newer generation, higher thrust RB199s or other versions of this engine. Although these factors put the EAP at a slight disadvantage in terms of thrust to weight ratio and overall performance, the aircraft still demonstrated in its vertical maneuvers, its high turn rates and its low speed stability that it indeed represents the new generation of fighter technology.